Dear viewers, today in hormones we will study about adrenal gland hormones. So, in adrenal gland hormones we will study hormone release from adrenal medulla. And in this we will study epinephrine, norepinephrine, synthesis of catecholamines, biochemical function of catecholamines, effect on physiological function, metabolism of catecholamines and abnormalities of catecholamines production. So what is adrenal medulla? So you can see here this is adrenal gland. This adrenal gland is present above kidney. So this adrenal gland has two part. Outer part is called cortex and inner part is called medulla. So epinephrine and norepinephrine. These hormones release from adrenal medulla part and adrenal cortex part release cortisol hormones these are present in human and corticosterone hormones are present in mice so what are the factor which create release of these epinephrine and norepinephrine so this adrenal gland is controlled by pituitary gland and this pituitary gland is present in brain this pituitary gland release adrenocorticotropic hormone so this hormone activate cortex and medulla and further re they release their hormones. So you can see here the clear picture of adrenal medulla portion. So this part, outer part is adrenal cortex. Okay. And this inner part is adrenal medulla. And this adrenal medulla contain epinephrine and norepinephrine hormone and whenever they receive signal from pituitary gland for their release these hormones come out and went into blood capillaries so adrenal medulla is an extension of sympathetic nervous system and adrenal medulla release epinephrine and norepinephrine hormone Earlier epinephrine is known by the name adrenaline and norepinephrine is known by the name noradrenaline. Okay. And this epinephrine and norepinephrine, so they contain this catechol moiety in their structure. And also they contain ethyl amine portion. So like you can see norepinephrine, it contain catechol structure, ethyl amine structure and hydroxyl group at this carbon. And epinephrine has methyl group at amine portion, okay, NH2 portion. So this is the difference between norepinephrine and epinephrine hormone. And norepinephrine and dopamine are important neurotransmitter in brain. So this is the structure of dopamine. So you can now easily see the difference between these three neurotransmitters okay now we will talk about synthesis of catecholamines amino acid tyrosine is the precursor for synthesis of catecholamines and whenever you are in the situation of fight fright and flight these catecholamines release from your body and there are some emergency situation like shock cold fatigue emotional condition and uh, anger at this situation these catecholamines release why these catecholamines release because at this emergency situation your body need energy and these hormone mobilize energy resources so now we will study effect of this hormone on carbohydrate metabolism so in this situation of fight fright and flight your body need energy and the source of energy is glucose so this hormone increase degradation of glycogen means it will perform glycogenolysis because degradation of glycogen gives glucose second it enhance synthesis of glucose means gluconeogenesis so it decrease glycogen formation this that is called glycogenesis and this glycogen formation occur from glucose so this process stop and overall effect of catecholamine is to elevate blood glucose level and make it available for brain and other tissue to meet the emergency situation.
what will be the effect on lipid metabolism so there occur lipolysis means lipid breakdown will occur and the storage house of lipids are adipose tissue okay so lipid comes from adipose tissue and breakdown of lipid occur now it case increase in fatty acid in circulation which are effectively utilized by heart and muscle as a fuel source and there is the main role of cyclic amp so there occur increase in adenylate cyclase activity which cause elevation in cyclic amp now we will study effect of this hormone on various physiological function so catecholam means increase cardiac output why it increase cardiac output because now your body need energy and the source of energy is glucose and glucose moves through your blood in body okay and the pump house for blood is heart so that's why cardiac output increase and it increase your blood pressure and oxygen consumption so in the same situation like fight flight and fright your lungs muscles need to be relaxed so that they can take more oxygen so smooth muscle relaxation occur in bronchi and these bronchi are present in your lungs and there occur smooth muscle relaxation of gastrointestinal tract and blood vessel because if blood vessel remain in constricted form the movement of blood will be restricted and catecholla means stimulate smooth muscle contraction of blood vessel which supply blood to skin and kidney and platelet aggregation should be stopped so this catecholamine inhibit platelet aggregation metabolism of catecholamines so catecholamine means rapidly inactivated and metabolized so there is enzyme catechol o methyl transferase and monoamine oxidase which founds in many tissue and act on catecholamines and inactivate and metabolize these hormones okay and the metabolic product of catecholamines are metanephrine and vanillyl mandelic acid which excrete in urine it is of catecholamine production so there is pheochromocytomas pheochromocytomas is the tumor of adrenal medulla and this pheochromocytoma is possible only when there is excessive production of epinephrine and norepinephrine which cause severe hypertension and the individual affected by this order the ratio of norepinephrine and epinephrine is increased so whenever you want to measure the norepinephrine or epinephrine content in your body you can measure vma which is vanillyl mandelic acid which excrete in urine so the normal content is generally less than 8 mg per day in urine when there is increase in content of vma in urine it means there is pheochromocytomas so this is about the hormone which release from adrenal medulla in next video we will study about the hormone release from adrenal cortex so guys thank you for watching the video